It's national team time. It's our fourth international break since the channel set up. I'm technically on holiday this week, but it's going to take more than a week in the wilderness to stop me from watching our Faroese boys. Austria came to town on Saturday and no matter how many times Austria play the Faroes, they won't escape history. So that famous Landskrona match will always be remembered. However, this was not to be again as they came to Torsound, shuffled in two goals and then flew away again. Leimer and Sabitzer, which sounds like a children's puppet show on some German cable channel, were the goal scorers and once the second goal was in, the Faroes were beaten. However, the last four defeats to Austria have seen the Faroe Islands concede 15 goals, with at least three each time, so holding them to two is actually an improvement. This one isn't fair. After the heartbreak of losing 1-0 to Denmark to a late winner in the last round, Scotland copied their lead and scored an 86th minute winner to sink our beloved Faroes and deny them a fifth qualifying point. And a lot of people watching, including Scottish fans, watched a first half between two very evenly matched sides, despite the 70 place ranking gap between the two. The Faroes were unlucky not to go into half time ahead after Ari Jonsson, who plays in Norway for Sunders Ulf, spurned a great chance. So no goals and no points to show for our efforts and yep let me just check it I don't think the Faroes can qualify anymore so let's just focus everything on finishing not bottom. Our next international fixtures are in November as the World Cup qualifying draws to a close. Firstly, we travel to Denmark for part two of the Danish derby, and then we close off the campaign in Israel. We can still, yes, we, you can still reach double digits. We can still get 10 points. Let's go for 10 points. It's, it's optimistic, but we can do it. I don't think we've disgraced ourselves in this campaign, despite only having four points. We've pushed Denmark, Austria, and Scotland to three very close games, and there's always signs that the Faroes are improving. Indeed, this is actually echoed in the comments by the opposition managers who have all said that the Faroe Islands are an improving team and not the free hits they once were. Come back in November for the last part of this series in the internationals of 2021, and I'll see you then.